Hi, I'm pleased to talk with you today about how to build a workshop agenda. PAS has created this nice workshop agenda template for us that allows you to think about each agenda item that you want to cover in your workshop, what type of learning activity is best for that agenda item, how much time you will need, which facilitator will lead that portion of the agenda, and it also helps you link your learning objectives to your learning activities. Here's an example of a partially completed workshop template uh, that will be available to you as an example. Now, this is just a very basic workshop framework. By no means am I suggesting that you must include each of these activities in this order, but rather it's just a place for you to start with some introductions of the facilitators and participants, a possible needs assessment on the spot if you feel that you would be prepared to be flexible and make adjustments in response to the needs assessment, a simple fun icebreaker to get participants warmed up to the content, it should not be anything hard, very brief didactics, either at the beginning of your workshop or small pieces interspersed throughout. And then the majority of your workshop should be active learning work. Uh, interactive activities, active activities to allow people to practice. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And then finally, a wrap up with final questions, comments, maybe an evaluation. And many people like to include a commitment to action to prompt participants to think about how they're going to apply the tools they learned to their future work. Learning objectives should really drive the teaching strategies for the workshop and not the other way around. Too often in planning a workshop, we think about what would be fun to do, and then we go back and force our learning objectives to fit. Good educational planning should really be the other way around. These are some examples of active learning work for you. I'm sure you can think of others. We do encourage you to base your learning activities on Kolb's learning style in which participants have an opportunity to reflect on the material learned, share between themselves and teach each other, most importantly, practice new skills, and then be able to apply their new knowledge and skills to their everyday work. This is a reminder that less talk and more action is definitely more effective. We all know that the longer a lecture goes on, the less material is retained by the learner. Do consider your time carefully when you're planning. In general, less is more effective. Uh, we have a tendency to pack our agenda with great learning activities that take longer than we think. Then we end up being rushed and not allowing enough time for active learning. So be very careful with your time. Here are some references and resources for you if you'd like. Thanks for listening today and good luck with your workshop.